Hello children, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. Today, we will continue with another problem and concept from number theory for mathematical olympiads like Singapore Math Olympiad, IACUM, American Math Competition and so on. This is a very important concept actually. How do you divide a very large number like this one? 7 to the power 2023 plus 9 to the power 2023. So, how do you divide a number this large by, let's say, 64 in this particular case and find the remainder? Find the remainder. So, this sort of questions are very important in the Olympiads, but even at a later stage of your life, when you are working in, let's say, cryptography, this sort of things become very important and interesting questions. So, let's dive into it. Let's learn about it and I'll also give you a challenge problem. If you can do it, put in the comment section and the best commenter is usually awarded every month. So, what is 7 to the power 2023 plus 9 to the power 2023 divided by 64? What is the remainder? So, to get started, I'll give you the simplest thing that you can do. First, look at the number 64. What immediately should strike you? is that it's a power of 2 to the power 6 and the other two numbers 7 and 9 these are incredibly close to another pure power of 2 that is 8 7 is simply 8 minus 1 and 9 is simply 8 plus 1 now this is not an accident we will leverage this particular point to solve this problem so Let's try that. So instead of 7 to the power 2023, let's write 8 minus 1 raised to the power 2023. Similarly, instead of 9 to the power 2023, let's write 8 plus 1 raised to the power 2023. And we want to divide this entire thing by 64. Okay? So how do we do it? Well, we expand this binomially. Okay, so if you don't know binomial theorem, it's a, here is a quick review. If you have a plus b raised to the power n, this is n choose 0, a to the power n, b to the power 0, plus n choose 1, a to the power n minus 1, b to the power 1. Like so, n choose n minus 1, a to the power 1, b to the power n minus 1, and n choose n a to the power 0, b to the power n. That's the binomial expansion of a plus b to the power n. We will be using this technique to solve this problem. So let's binomially expand a 8 minus 1 raised to the power 2023. So here a is 8 and b is minus 1 and n is 2023. Okay? So, how do we do it? Well, the first step, 2023, choose 0, 8 to the power 2023, minus 1 to the power 0, plus 2023, choose 1, 8 to the power 2022, minus 1 to the power 1. Like this, it will continue, and what we will get is 2023, choose Let's write one extra term, 2021, 8 to the power 2021, minus 1, uh, eight, sorry, 8 to the power 2, minus 1 to the power 2021, 2023, choose 2022, 8 to the power 1, minus 1 to the power 2022, and finally, the last term of this sequence, 2023, choose 2023, 8 to the power 0, minus 1 to the power 2023. This is the binomial expansion of 8 minus 1 raised to the power 2023. Now, you may think that this is like overcomplicating the problem, but in a second, you will see that this actually is very very helpful that's because each of these are actually divisible by 64 
If you think about it, 64 is nothing but 8 square. So any power of 8 greater than or equal to 2, 8 square, 8 cube, 8 to the power 4, 8 to the power 5, up to 8 to the power 2023, all of them will be completely divisible by 64. So all of these will be divisible by 64. Up to here, up to 8 square, all of them will produce remainder 0 when divided by 64. That's the meaning of it is divisible by 64. If you divide by 64, the remainder is 0. So all of these terms will produce remainder 0 when divided by 64, except for this term and this term, where we don't have 8 squared. So we have to just worry about these two terms, and let's do that. 2023 choose 2022 is 2023 times 8 minus 1 raised to 2022 is just 1 times 1 minus so this is an odd power of minus 1 8 to the power 0 is 1 and 2023 choose 2023 is also 1 so this is just minus 1 that's all okay so we have 2023 times 8 plus 1 minus 1 that is what is remaining if because all other terms will pro produce remainder 0 now at this point you if you do not know that remainders actually add up you might get confused so I'll quickly tell you that though I assume that everyone almost everyone who is watching this knows that if you have three numbers and if they produce remainders R1, R2, R3, if you divide them by some number, let's say 5, if they produce remainder R1, R2, R3, then their sum will produce a remainder R1 plus R2 plus R3. The remainders add up. Of course, this thing can be larger than 5. So you can then again divide by 5 and get the final remainder. This is also the basics of modular arithmetic. We discuss it in our Math Olympiad program, in our ISI CMI entrance program. It's a very important tool in elementary number theory. Okay, get, getting back to this. So the first thing produces this. And what would be the second one? So the second one was 8 plus 1 raised to the power 2023. So if you do the same computation, you will see 2023 times 8 times 1 plus 1. The last term will be plus 1 because instead of minus 1, each of them will be plus 1 raised to the power 2023. So now these two will just cancel off and we have 2023 times 8 plus 1 times 1 plus 2023 times 8 times 1. So, you have 2023 times 8 plus 2023 times 8. This is what remains when you just throw away all of the terms which has a power of uh, in, in which 8 has a power of 2 or more. So, what happens if you divide this by 64? Now, this number is significantly smaller you can actually hand compute it and add it up and check what you get so this is the challenge question check what you get as the final remainder and put it in the comment section if you're interested in singapore math olympiad we have a wonderful program for that if you're preparing for smo junior or smo senior or the indian math olympiad like iokm or american math competitions uh, you can check the link in the descriptions and we are we're very passionate about this sort of stuff, uh, stuff beautiful non-routine problem solving. Check it out and I'm sure you will love it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep on doing great mathematics and stay well. Bye.